Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Stay Hungry and today I'm going to talk about why saying no will transform your business. Welcome back. When we start with business, it's easy to say yes all the time. We want lots of customers and we want them to be happy. But sometimes it can seriously bite you in the arse long term. Because if you're trying to please everyone, as you grow, other people will suffer for it, especially you. Now, let's say a potential client wants a meeting. In the early days, you'll probably agree to it straight away. Why not? It could be more money for you. Maybe you even go to see them rather than have them come to see you. You quickly say yes to the meeting. You spend an hour driving to see them only to find out you're not a good fit for each other. Or there's another decision maker involved who you weren't aware of and they're not there. Or the person who requests the meeting isn't actually there themselves either. I couldn't tell you how many times myself and other business owners I know have turned up to meetings only to find out the person who requested the meeting has forgotten or they found something more important to do. It's bloody annoying and it's rude too. We'll wait around 15 minutes, give them the benefit of the doubt, but no longer because that's time we could have spent helping paying clients. Now, you need to pre-qualify people before agreeing to any meeting. That's one of the top things I tell my younger self when starting out in business. And if they don't pass, you say no. Saying yes too quickly can also set a precedent, which again damages you long term. Let's say someone asks for your mobile number. You can do what you want, of course, as long as you accept the fact that that person could not only call you whenever they want, but they can text you, WhatsApp you, and Facebook message you. You have pretty much given them your permission. My personal favorite is when someone WhatsApps you to tell you that they've emailed you, or they WhatsApp you one time, and then they text you the next, or maybe even Facebook message you after that. Now, if you answer a call or respond to a WhatsApp on a Saturday, you have given them carte blanche to contact you whenever they want and to be clear it ain't their fault for contacting you on a Saturday it's your fault for answering it's your fault for saying yes now, depending on what line of work you're in I'd think carefully about giving your mobile number out if it's just you and you alone with no office and no landline I'd rather pay a few quid a month to have a virtual landline number all of the bill boils down to being too contactable Saying yes to everyone and everything eats into your time, time that you can never get back. It's like helping charities. We all want to be charitable, but you can't give your time and money to every charity. It's not being mean saying no to one charity when you said yes to another. It's not being mean identifying that someone hasn't got the budget for your product or service before you have a meeting. It's not mean refusing to give out a mobile number. It's not mean allowing everyone under the sun to pick your brains, i.e. tap you up for a load of free information. Saying no is empowering. Some people won't like it, but that's okay, even when it comes to things outside of work. I mean, do you ever find that you're inconveniencing yourself to keep certain friends happy? You always have to fit around their plans. Stop that shit right now. You are important too. Saying no, or rather not saying yes all the time, will make things simpler more efficient and more profitable for you and your business. And it will also save you a shitload of headaches. I'm all for putting yourself under pressure every now and then. You only grow outside of your comfort zone. But I'm an equally big fan of not making work for myself. As ever, if anyone you know needs to revisit their marketing because what they're currently doing is not moving them closer to their goals, a free discovery call with Joel or myself can be applied for via codebreak.co.uk. Stay safe, stay hungry.